Modest Lifestyle, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Modesta. Do well to join the family if you haven't. My returning subscribers to Modest Nation, I see you all. Yes, I see you. Thank you for your massive love and support. It's a reaction video. <laughs> Who made it to the table? You and I. Meanwhile, grab whatever that is grabbable and call my water here. Yes, grab your liquid, your solid fruit salad, anything, anything. Let's get this just started. Who else is on this table? Of course, Coco Girl. A quick recap. Finally, Coco Girl has left the village with Fabio. Okay, they have departed. She's back to her hostel. Of course, she's on her way to Europe, like she said. There's something that Coco Girl said that I don't understand. She said that she wants older men. If you are a young guy and you want, you are showing interest that she's going to block you. She wants men that are done and dusted with having babies. She doesn't want anybody to bother her with, oh, my children, my this, my this and that. She basically wants to enjoy herself. Then she said, I don't want any child. I said, eh? My baby, my baby. So it's all about content, like we said. Remember how in Kenya she used favor and sneeze. You guys remember how she carried favor to Kenya. And again, she did the same thing in Ghana. And that case is closed. It's as if she was really reprimanded in Ghana for taking advantage of the minors. Otherwise, why would Coco Girl feel now that she is repeating content? As a travel vlogger, your experience in Kenya, East Africa, can never be the same in West Africa. It all depends on you, Coco Girl. Make your plans very well. There are so many places. Look at Susan, for example. Her friend Susan went to historical places in Ghana and she has moved on to Togo because she knows that definitely she's done with Ghana and Togo is a new chapter. You cannot say that, oh, I feel like I'm repeating the same content. I feel like I'm doing the same thing over. You are doing the same thing over and over because... You are cheap like that, Coco Girl. Anyway, we wish her all the best uh, as she's moving on to another continent. Yes. Welcome and welcome back again, guys. Who else is on this table? Hey, hey. African tea went live again yesterday. Like joke, like joke. Hey, hey. She says she's that kind of a lady that doesn't waste time to clap back. Hey, our Oga, Oga Patakpata of Lazy Gang International. Oga Fruits. Hey. Hey, it shall be well with you. You're going out and you're coming in. Come and see slap yesterday, guys. Hey, hey, hey. This one, you choked them. He shocked me. This is what we are talking about. Allow people to shower you with blessings. Allow people to bless you. Oga Fruits, thank you so much. Yo. May God continue to replenish that your pocket. Your pocket shall never go dry. Amen. And other lazy members as well. You guys, you guys are too much. Even if you are not slapping me with this dollar, you, your presence alone, it means a lot. Special thanks to Bev G, Icelander Overland for your super slaps. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all you guys from the bottom of my heart. Yes, your presence alone, I appreciate. Hey, <laughs> and on top of it, you can't slap me anyhow. What is this? Lazy people everywhere. If you love me, I love you with the water. I love you back to back, back to back, back. Where is the backpacker? Eh? Hey! Backpackers. Let's usher some backpackers to the table, guys. Of course, the Burundis made it to the table. Diana Kemi, BT and DK. Burundian traveler and Diana Kemi, baby girl of Yabe Hanze. They are still very much around Burundi. But now they have left the village at least. They are making a move. They are moving. Like two days now they have not posted. So we are going to shook our mouth in their last video, which was done two days ago. Okay? Burundi Traveler was giving us a hotel tour. We will look at that one. Who else is on this table? The Mayas, the Echoes. In fact, let's start because I'm blabbing too much. What is this? Coco Mama, enough. Enough of this yapping and yapping and yapping. What is this? Lazy people everywhere. You guys are too much. Yo. Without you guys. Eh? Hey! Are we crazy? Without you guys, there wouldn't be Coco Mama here. Mm? I would have been gone and gone forever. Like, seriously. 
You search for me on this place, you will not find me anywhere. But because of you guys, as you are coming, we are going, coming and moving and going and coming. He shot them. He shot me. <laughs> guys, a quick recap. So yesterday we reacted on Baba Marowa and African tea. Their words was, "If you give it to me, hey, I give it to you. This is what we call give it to me. I give it to you, baby." So, Baba Marwa jammed the rock. Baba Marwa jammed somebody that fits him very well. Guess what? Baby girl did not stop. She went live yesterday from London. And she was like, I don't waste time to slap back. Especially if I don't come for you. If you come for me, I'm going to come for you. Guys, I don't want to bring that clips here, okay? It was a live video. So, I don't want to even think of downloading it and coming to board. You can go and check over. And... She said that she's not regretting, you know, giving it back to Marwa because his own is too much. Why would a travel vlogger tell another what to do on her space? It shocked me. Oh. I always believe that Jim Wango and African tea, they have unsettled beef. And African tea is like shying away from addressing it. When it comes to any, any stuff about D, you will see her not even saying anything. Meanwhile, D has insulted her indirectly. When the rumor of their breakup came, D was like, I don't want to have anything to do with any content creator, any YouTuber, especially the person that I'm bigger than. I want to mingle with somebody higher than me, da 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 da. Of course, she was referring to African tea. Now, to my greatest surprise, Marwa himself did not expect that African tea would come for him like this. African tea gave it to him and he deserves it. I mean, how can you even do this when you are as guilty as anything you are the same basically something that you are guilty of then you're gonna come and run your mouth to correct another person anyway baby girl is the african team did not regret doing what she did but her saying that she has never come for someone that she's always like me is a lie african team you have come for with the maya and with the maya did not do anything to you up till today yes african tea is troublesome to with the maya I don't understand now that she's acting like, oh, I've never come into my space. Yes, I do clap back. I would do the same thing physically. But I've never come for you. have come for with the Maya. Hey, let's move to the Mayas. Guys, there's a clip here I want us to watch. Mm. Enough of uh, the recap. Enough, enough. Let's go into today's business. You know, business is business. So let's dive into our business. Business of today. Ready. Guys, so it's morning, we are going out, okay? So, go ahead. You're going out uh -huh. with my mom. There she is, coming. And then my wife wants to sit next to me, but I'm like... Yeah, because that's my husband driving, so I need to sit, sit here. Sit because my okay. mom is going to sit next to me. Am I wrong? Uh, we are taking your photo. Yes. Yeah. No, it's okay, you can sit here in front. Uh, you can sit in hey. front. Oh, sit. Huh? Sit. Babes, your mom is telling me to sit in front. No, I can't sit in front. Guys, what do you think? Who should sit in front? No, I for the mom. Okay. Drop a comment, let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's me. Babes. Thank you. Enjoy the back. You know, it shows that you are the car owner. Yes. That's how it is. <laughs> you know, you have no idea. The reason why I told you to sit at the back, it means the car belongs to you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. What do you think about this? Do you think this is for content or this is reality? Because we know that Wodemaya loves his mom. <laughs> okay, reality check here. If for real, mom or wife, Wodemaya will go for his mom. I'm sorry. I know he loves Miss Trudy. I know he loves his wife. But in reality, I know some other guys will choose their wives over their moms, okay? But in this situation, we all know that Wodomaya will go extra and above for his mom. 
So let's even say that this is not for content because I must tell you guys one thing. They are good content creators. What do you guys think? They know that we are here. They know that we will come here and run our mouth like diarrhea. <laughs> they want us to... Let me tell you guys something. In as much as they come, they say, oh, they are using us, always talking about us. I don't even want to know what they are saying out there. I don't want to Google my name. Ah, 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 ah. These reactors, they don't know us and they feel like they are living without the all. They are enjoying this fame. You see? Hey! That's why I kind of slowed down talking about the Marowas. Let his armies do the work. Because guess what? When we bring this traffic to them, they don't appreciate it. So why would I kill myself? Always Marowa, Marowa. Mar and they think that we are even enjoying talking about him. It's just that before you know it, one lazy member will be like, Coco Mama, did you see? Can you check this, this, this person? Can you see? Otherwise, we don't even want to. We don't even want to repeatedly talk about him. I mean, he has always disgraced himself peeing on camera. What else? He is stingy. You know, and you expected him to spend money on himself. He will be stingy like that. He is paranoid. Always feeling that, oh, everybody wants to hurt him. Everybody wants to take advantage of him. He is the, this, this rich guy that knows it all. That every other person is stupid. So why would I repeatedly come and be bothering you people with such content? But of course, you guys, <laughs> if you draw our attention to any of the stuff that he has done, we will not have any choice than to bring him once in a while. But it's not something we want to do all the time. Because guess what? We are actually promoting these guys. Believe me, we are promoting their brand. We are giving them traffic. We are making them to stay relevant. They are already up there, but we are also upping their game. We are also helping them to up their games, if you get what I mean. So in reality, do you think if this is a reality, like they are not acting up for us to talk, for their audience to say something, for reactors to pick on it, either insult them or to put their opinions? What do you think? In reality, I feel like Wodemaya will do this. Well, the Maya will let Miss Trudy go at the back. <laughs> well, the Maya loves his mom. And it's a good thing. Because guess what? Appreciate your parents. Appreciate your loved ones when they are still there. When they are still alive. Don't come and ignore your mom. You don't even want, oh, this old woman. What are you doing? Some other people will not even invite their moms over to their house. They go visit and they throw whatever they have. But you forgot that what matters most is that precious time you spend with your parents, not even money, not even the gift. Even if you have bought a brand new car for your mom, your presence will still be needed in her life. So Wodemaya shows that he cares so much about his mom. He cannot sit in front of the car with his wife and left his mom behind. This is the reality. And then coming to acting, okay, which I feel that they did, like this is all for us to talk about. Coming to acting, I feel like, yes, they want us to talk about this. I feel like Miss Trudy, of course, will understand with her husband. Miss Trudy will not be like freaking out. Oh, why would you? It's my front. Uh, so long as my husband is in the front seat, I'm expected to sit there. We will not expect Miss Trudy to behave that way. Of course, as an African woman, as a Ghanaian wife, as a humble girl that she is, she still got to respect her husband, respect her husband's decision. His decision may not be the best. Having camera in front of her and Maya recording it or whoever that was recording, she has to behave very well. Now, later on, she might have one-on-one -on -one discussion with Maya, whereby she will be like, you know what, Maya, <laughs> I respected you because of camera. In real life, for real, you're going to put me at the back and leave your mom in front like for real where is this thing done eh it's not done anywhere but i have seen especially this Igbo men i've seen some Igbo guys doing similar thing whereby if they are in the car with their friends i mean male friends or colleagues they will let the wife sit at the back and then this person will sit i feel like it depends it depends on understanding but the ideal thing is with the Maya's mom supposed to go at the back? That's his courtesy. I don't even understand why Auntie Maggie 
accepted to come in front. No matter how precious your son is to you, if your son is married, he is married. If they give me that kind of offer, I'm not going to take it as a mother-in-law. You're going to tell me, come and sit in front of the car with my son when you are already married. I'm not going to take it. But like I said, they did all this. I feel like it was planned like that. Like Auntie Maggie was already told what to do. You guys, content creators. <laughs> you guys, you don't know that you are in movie theater. You will come and be knocking your head and be feeling sorry for Mrs. Maya. Oh, so this is how the Maya treats his wife. Oh, you are the owner of the car sit at the back. Oh, I'm the boss here. Whatever I say goes. If I tell you sit at the back, you must sit at the back. My mom is everything to me. You, I can always get a new... I can always... There's a saying that we believe in, okay? In my culture. You can always get a new wife. You can always get a new husband. Always get a new girlfriend. You can always, you know... You can always switch. <laughs> you can always top up if you want. You know? You can always go for side chicken or whatever. But you cannot side chicken your mom. You cannot come and say, ah, I have a side chicken mom somewhere there. Oh, I have a mom outside there. That mm -mm. Somebody can play that role, but you know what I mean. Your mom, your biological mom, you can't change it. So that's another thing that most men will tell you that they will go for their moms than their wives, okay? A wife is a choice you have made, okay? Meanwhile, your parents are choice from above okay you are not the one you don't choose. if i'm gonna choose which family i want to belong to hey you guys should leave me alone no? i will be choosing that <laughs> if i'm gonna choose which family i want to belong to, i will be in america somewhere relaxing i will not even have to be waking up very early in the morning like this 4 a.m eh? hey forget about this saying that people say that rich people don't sleep they sleep they freaking sleep when they want to sleep they can even decide you know, early in the morning with their toothpick facing their big screen television, relaxing. You know, just going on with their CCTV. Business is running as usual. Bank account is loading money up and down. They don't have to stress themselves. They can decide to sleep at 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 12 midnight, 12 noon. Eh? Ha! All these things that rich people don't... Maybe rich people don't sleep when they are building up their wealth and all that but it gets to a time they freaking sleep they enjoy mm. they don't have to wake up early in the morning to come and be screaming in front of you guys <laughs> lazy people everywhere so ideally i wouldn't expect my husband to tell me go at the back let my mama because he loves his mom come in front okay the only thing again that will happen is when a journey like this happens so that mama who will be at the back will not feel lonely you tag her with someone, either your sibling, you invite your sibling over, we'll be taking mama somewhere, somewhere, somewhere to the clinic, we'll be going shopping for mama, we'll be visiting this relative that lost this one and this one. So can you come over and at least accompany mama when she's sitting at the back of the, this one? Mm -hmm. They want us to talk. You think Mrs. Maya on a regular day will accept this one? Eh? Is somehow even if she will accept it she will accept it only one time for what content this is purely purely for entertainment remember the rules that Maya shared with us okay with Ivancho International he said that his content is all about three elements E for entertainment education and informing you so this is all for entertainment don't listen to these other people because I'm very very sure hey, others other reactors of mine you know all other all these other colleagues of mine over here they will misinterpret this thing that maya is abusing through the <laughs> they will misinterpret it that maya got no regards for through the like through the is nothing to him they will misinterpret it anyhow guys guys lazy gang you guys are starting you guys are starting oh hey someone ran to my ig and said Coco Mama, I'm hearing that Max One Million is losing subscribers. Please, 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 can you talk to the lazy girl? I said, let me check. When I checked, he didn't lose any subscribers. But I said, let me just say this in advance. Even Oga Fruits took note of uh, this attitude of our brother Max, okay? 
The Max One is one person that is corner cornering. He is there and he's there. You cannot serve two masters at the same time. You have to choose, pick your race. Choose whom you want to serve. For me and my family, I choose God. I choose to stand with truth. Rather than coming to defend what you are not supposed to defend, you keep quiet. Because now, we don't understand. We don't understand. You At the end of the day, you didn't say anything. You were just like defending, defensing, defensing. Oh, my husband also wants to feed his children. My husband wants to feed his children by lying to his audience that he's single, by claiming that his wife ran away, claiming that he's single, that claiming that he's a single father of two, making his audience feel certain way, activating donation, eh? grabbing someone's child. Like, I believe in what A.M. Carroll said. If my Ogno had come out to say, you know what, this neighbor of mine is a single mom of four kids. She's really struggling. I want to support her by you guys helping to support her last child. Okay? Her last child is a friend of my daughter. Something like this. It's always good because truth is life. Truth will only take time to come out. You cannot hide truth forever. That's why whatever you are sharing, be careful. That takes us to the BT and DK. Burundi Traveler was doing a house tour, okay? And he started by showing us this hotel, $8 per night, beautiful hotel in downtown of Burundi. And he said that this hotel actually is not on the map. Like if you Google about it, you can't do payment and he might try to let the manager be on IG in case someone wants to visit, which is a good thing, marketing, you know? He's also helping the hotel. It's a good stuff that he's, he saw this and he wants to share it with his audience. And of course, DK was there with him, Dinah Kemi. So Dinah Kemi was upstairs and Burundi started from downstairs, showing the environment, showing the structure of the hotel, beautiful hotel. And I, you know, showed her face, guys subscribe to BT, guys subscribe to my channel and da 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 da. Now, they went inside their hotel room. And something strange happened. <laughs> I said, you see this life? You see this life? Coco Mama, if you guys have not noticed something, I want to vlog, but I don't want to vlog with the whole family. <laughs> hey! Because the drama is not here. Eh? That's the time you will notice something like, ah, this Coco Mama's uh, husband is like this. Ah, Coco Mama. Did you hear what her husband told her? Ah, but you, you, have you noticed that uh, there's no respect, no love between these two people? Oh, her husband said like this to her, and she said like this to her husband. Oh, did you see that the, the face that her husband is making? Do you see this one? Do you see how the husband... It's better you guys that you are already, because I'm bringing myself to you guys here. It's better you throw me than to throw a whole family. It might even crash the marriage. It might even end up bringing problem to the marriage or among the family, okay? Because before you know it, even your video, family members, relatives, aunties and uncle, your video will start flying everywhere to your aunties and uncle. Oh, look at what they did. Look at what her husband did to her. Look at what she did to her husband. It has happened repeatedly because now your audience will set a standard for you. What you should do, what you should not do. And all that you better you guys better set that standard for me than to send it for my whole family so it's very very important as important let me say it in marwa's word it's very very important to know what you are sharing out there bt burundi traveler showed us his hotel room showed us his nice bed mashallah mm -hmm. with nets everything set nice well space with good ventilation, good views. He was on top of uh, the roof. He was on the last floor with the nice views and everything. And then hear him saying that because that hotel is affordable, they can manage to get two rooms, one for Diana and one for him, which is typical pure what? Lies, lie, 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 liars everywhere. Brundian travelers, stop it. 
You must not share your room. If I was Rundian traveler, I will share every other place there. I must not talk about who sleeps where. It's what? Information overload. At the end of the day, you are even exposing yourself and giving us something to talk about because you are showing us your room, your how nice your bed, king size, how nice you even telling uh, your girl Diana, 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 let's do some selfie, let's take pictures. You're doing not. What, what about Diana's room? Did you show us Diana's room? Hey, and why is it that there's a footage of Diana's stuff? We didn't see her backpacker because you know there's whatever you are doing in this life, you will try everything. Truth, like you said, is clear. You will try everything possible to act, to prepare everything on time. This is what we're gonna say. This is what you should not say. Um, hide your bag here. What about Diana's silpas? What is her silpas doing there? Hmm? You also forget to hide her silpas. You guys should stop this. Let's watch them, guys, because. I'm tired. My tired is tired at this point. In Bujumbura, Burundi, for anyone who will be coming to visit in Burundi or Bujumbura, let me say like that. Be taking you inside because we have the upper upper room over there, so that uh, maybe I can see like outside, like the view. You know, am I? Actually, when you go in Kenya for that money, you cannot get. Uh, to sleep in such beautiful and good hotel like this. <laughs> then I came in. Yes. How are you? Fine. Hi guys. What are you doing? Is it <laughs> like you are hiding? Here is more cheaper and uh, until this hotel it be busy. But a much like one. every time zero zero like it's full 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 full. Everything is in nature here. Look. Look guys how it look like. This height look like. Mm -hmm. And again, we do need to get picture here. Another bed? Mm -hmm. well, maybe later, so right now. See if you can get picture here. Free picture <laughs> like this. <laughs> Guys, big hotel, did it? Dana came in. Yes. And I came in. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my room now. Yeah, a queen size bed or a king size? This is kind. This king. King size. King size bed because I'm king, okay. Uh -huh. uh, maybe yeah, you are you as now it will be called the queen. Mm -hmm. And actually, guys, is a uh, is more sweeter because you know is affordable. So we could at least maybe have that power uh, mm -hmm. to rent two of them, like mine and Dana Kemi's one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know it's crazy. Uh -huh. And. Uh, if I, I remember the one in in Kisumu, that one was uh, because we paid uh, like 12, 12 USD. Mm -hmm. That one was uh, very expensive. Oh my God! It was expensive, but that's their price. You see? Yeah. That was expensive, but uh, you you know you know it was their price, but uh, you know. It depends with the country. No, the place. Me me, I need at least to see like how hotel is. It's, it looks more safer. Or, uh, but I like this one. Yeah, this one is more better because it's more safer and when it's look, how it looks like. And also the way is affordable, you know. Mm -hmm. Like if you pay if I pay and then I can pay. It's almost like uh, it's almost the same as you maybe pay one room there and this is two room mm -hmm. like that. Hey. Yo guys, when you come in Bujumbura, enjoy here. Yeah. Enjoy here. Enjoy here. Very enjoy here. Very beautiful, very beautiful net, beautiful. eh? Yeah. Hey. There's some mosquito. <laughs> guys, guys, you see? Here, yeah, there is somewhere you can sit. Huh? Yeah. My big bag. Mm -hmm. The big bag for travelers. You guys should stop this drama. Eh? You want to travel with Diana? Own it. <laughs> Even if we are here to say something negative, it doesn't matter. It's just our mere opinion and it doesn't count. Like we are not going to stop you. The Coco Mama is saying, Diana, go back to your parents. Diana, don't make this thing available for this guy. <laughs> hey, because if you finish chopping these choppings, eh? <laughs> there will be a time that he will be full. Oh. You know in our sense, 
Some Nigerian guys, naughty Nigerian guys, will tell you, How can I be eating a goosey soup every day? I also want to eat Obodo. I also want to eat bitter leaf. What is this? I want some salad. Eh? I also want to try jollof rice. Mm? Because, guys, you know, <laughs> you guys should leave me alone. Leave me. Let me be keeping it real for you guys. Lazy people everywhere. If you love me, I love you with the words. I love you back to back. Hey! Where is my backpackers have everywhere? <laughs> hey, well, backpackers full everywhere. Coco girl is complaining already that her backpack is full. That once she comes out of Europe, she's gonna give her second hand. I'm even asking myself, Coco girl, which clothes are you talking about that you want to give away? I'm sorry, guys. I'm one person that I value clothes. Okay, <laughs> not that I don't buy new clothes, but you will, you'll be surprised that. I might value my 15-year-old clothes more than the new ones. Because, of course, if you have a lot of clothes like that, you won't be using... What, one thing that affects clothes is when you use it over and over. And, apart from me, you know, coming on camera to you guys, then I will not have so much activities here. That's not my well. <laughs> The only time I get to at least change my top or change my dress is when I'm here with you guys. Otherwise... We barely go out. Even if you go out once in once in a week, kind of, or twice going shopping. And of course, regular dress, I'm always also on uniform and all that. So I don't I don't overuse my things. That's why I can hand over a dress of 15 years to someone and it will still look new because of the way I manage my things. I don't overuse it. And if I tell you that that clothes. I've been using it for so, 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 so years. You will doubt it until I, maybe I show you a picture I've taken in the past with it. Then that's the time you will, because the cloth will still look the same. I'm not saying that Coco Girl cannot pass her used clothes to someone. I do that. Actually, when I give away my old stuff to someone, if I let her see it, I'll be like, no, I shouldn't have done this. I'm sorry. I know our weather is different. Especially in Nigeria, it can, it can be really hot with dust and everything. But I feel like some people, they overuse stuff. That's how I see Coco Girl. If you look at some of the stuff that she's wearing, I don't see it as something that she can pass on to someone. If you pass that kind of stuff that she's using to me, I'm going to discard it, I'm sorry. I'm going to discard it on a serious note. Now, let's go into the business of... Uh, you know, you making yourself, or as a young woman, making yourself all available to a man to enjoy you, even before telling you what he has on the table for you. Now, some naughty Nigerian guys, they believe that you can keep a woman. Even though I'm totally against that, I believe that it's the same thing. Because... If it's not the same thing, why would you want to keep changing and changing and changing? It means that you will never be satisfied because it's the same. That's how I see it. But these other guys, these other naughty guys, not every man, some men, they understand these things. You understand? Once they have chosen who they want to settle down with, they just freaking do their thing and make it work. But these other guys, they believe that, oh, I must not eat one thing every day. I want to try this out. Then it means that it's the same thing because you will never be satisfied at the end of the day because you want to keep trying and trying and trying and trying. It's even worse. Do you know when it's worse? It's worse when that man is not yet tied down with you. When you don't have any concrete arrangement. This person has not met your parents. This person has not showed interest that he wants to settle down with you. It makes it even worse. And we are easily tempted to these things once there's a contact. Okay? <laughs> you cannot keep fish here and tell a rat, don't eat it. Or keep bone here and tell a dog, you see this bone that I kept here, don't eat it. You understand? If the man did not make the move, the woman might also be attracted. Some women will tell you stuff like, oh, this guy is fuckable. If you look at him, I just want, I don't feel like, it's not like I want to have anything with him, but I feel like I want him in the meantime. It's like that. Women, women approach, I've seen women that 
talk to another woman. Who can you talk to this guy? I'm interested in this guy. Not that she doesn't have a boyfriend, but she feels like, oh, I want this guy. For nothing. Just to enjoy that moment. You trying to tell me that girls don't see a guy and think, hey, oh, I want to like fuck this guy. Oh, yes, we do. I mean, so I've seen a guy before and I literally told my friend I want to fuck this guy. And I, my friend spoke to the guy on my behalf, but the thing is I didn't go through with it. Exactly. So you think about that. I mean, you just see some guy like, damn, it's fuckable. I mean, so. Ah. Yeah, you can think it now. It's easy. It's yes. No, it's wait, easy she did think. not just think but again, it. Her friend just... even went to advocate. Yeah, no. So he's interceded <laughs> on her behalf. Yeah. But let me understand. The, what are the qualities of people who are fucking. A guy that is fuckable see, that just see the, it's so, just... It, I don't think it has a particular you see it's just what your choice at that moment like what you see what gets you at that moment what me I saw that day, I saw a fine tall guy calm the way yeah, yeah. yeah one tall puppy like that he's looking all cute and shit and I told my friend wow I want to fuck this guy but that doesn't mean Sorry, I actually did it I think I'm 5'11". And the guy is taller than you. He's taller than me. I'm 6 foot 4, actually. Yes, <laughs> six foot. Nigerian men will come and tell you the lady has to be God-fearing, mm. she has to be homely, she has to be from a good background, all of that. <laughs> but then when the lady says, I want a man that can give me financial security, uh, she becomes a gold digger. First, you are God-fearing for yourself. Yes. You are respectful for yourself. Yes. You are homely, you are humble for yourself. Yes. Why do you just want somebody who wants to give you money? Money. Money, 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 money? Why do you want somebody that will give you money? I and you don't want to have money. You are all gold diggers. I might be digging financially, but you, you are digging my life. Bro, you are even worse because you are digging her life. So it's crazy like that. Now you making these things available as if it's nothing. You are actually destroying yourself. And the worst part of it is bringing it to camera, guys. I always emphasize on them bringing this life to camera. Stuff like this do exist. Yes, it do exist even in my country, in my culture. Ideally, it shouldn't be like that, but of course, they're in their twenties. But bringing it to camera, <laughs> oversharing is not nice because when you overshare, we will also come here and overreact. And if you see the reaction, you may not like it, and you will likely think that we are hating on you. No, you are the one making us actually to be looking and be asking. Hey, okay, you are showing us a Wesby. One that shall never end in your hands. I thought I have seen it all. You guys should leave me alone. Leave me in my small corner. Is it difficult? Just leave me. Let me be. You guys must not bring these things. We know already. We know what is going on. <laughs> this is the same movie that we've been watching, even when they were in the village. Diana waking up in her room. You know, I say, I'm awake. I slept good. We slept good. And then Diana going to Brundis uh, one small room like that. And then Brundis saying, oh, I've been awake. We are in theater. You guys should continue with this movie. We are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. For two days, guys, they have not posted. So I believe that they are cooking up or they are on the movement. Who knows? Maybe. So we can't wait to see what they've got next. Magic is with Dorina. Love is in the air, guys. Magic took Dorina for a date, for lunch dates. Hey! You guys remember when a certain lady granted interview to Majeke and Nasto in Mombasa or Nairobi, I'm not sure. So, um, this lady asked Majeke what kind of a woman he would want to settle down with. You know, forever, Majeke has been looking for a wife. Majeke has been looking for a wife everywhere. Eh? You know what, guys? I like this his niche. This is his niche. I think it's, it suits him. Because he's soft and laid back like that. So it suits him, you know, looking for, oh, I want to settle down with this person. Oh, I'm looking for a wife. Oh, this one, this one. He even traveled outside Kenya. I think he was in Uganda doing the same stuff. Anyway, what he told that lady during that interview was that what he wants in a woman is a woman with no makeup. Hey, <laughs> a woman that is natural. Majeke, are you natural? Eh? You still got to do your hairstyle the way you feel that it makes you look attractive and nice. Uh -huh. So now you're going to say that you want something that you cannot offer to yourself. You want this kind of quality that you cannot even keep up with yourself. You won't be saying that you are a fashionista. You know, making fashion statement, trying this out, trying this hairstyle, you know, doing your stuff, your own, this one. I don't understand because this Dorina, 
my Ugnos younger sister, okay? I feel like they are playing games here. I feel like it's all for content. Put me wrong. Maybe with time, I might be proven wrong. Maybe with time, I will be like, ah, Coco Mama, overthinking will not kill you. But until that time reaches, at this level where they are, forget about him driving her in a car, you know, they were eating. He looks as if he's all serious, serious. Like, he really wants this girl. Oh, I want to go and meet your parents. Oh, we have concluded there's something we discussed. It's going to be a surprise to you guys. This girl doesn't know English, number one. It should, language shouldn't be a barrier. I've always said it here. You can find love anywhere. Anywhere. Language shouldn't be a barrier at all. Mm -mm. I believe in that. But why am I saying that? He needs to at least make her comfortable in front of the camera. He needs to take it slow with her if this is real. He needs to take his time and let this girl be comfortable to do this stuff. Because we are watching, we are not babies. Okay? You, in front of camera, telling her, say it in English. Did you teach her English? Off camera. First thing, I feel like, you guys should leave me alone. Let me say it. I feel like Majeke should start by brushing her up being a village girl that she is i know she's from tanzanian village coming to kenyan village so it's the same same old same old but what i mean is majeke is not a village boy even though he grew up in the village majeke's dad is a village chief majeke came from a decent home in fact work to do home you guys remember when this issue of yabahanze people died in yabahanze people did not die sergio shared with us that all this land in Yabohanze belongs to Majeke's dad. So you can see how rich the guy is. Because wealth is not only cash. <laughs> Depends also in your accent, other things you have. So, Majeke coming from a family like that, a decent home, well-to-do, rich kid, rich kid kind of, okay? He went to school. This girl, I don't know the level of education she has whether it's just that she doesn't speak English because someone not speaking English just like me here in my English sucks it doesn't mean that I'm not educated okay <laughs> it's like that so I will not judge her but what I'm saying is let them do more work on the ground let them do more work let what I'm saying is let Majeke work on her behind the camera first before they will come and be rushing this content thing because I know but your case, this is his niche, basically. That's why I'm still in doubt. And nobody should come for me. I don't hate them. It's, love is a beautiful thing. Why not? If it works for them, it's a good thing. Good thing. Settling down is a beautiful thing. So that's what I want to say. I'm not against them because I know some of you guys that support Majeke and Dorena will be like, Oh, Coco Mama, you are coming again. Oh, I see genuine love. Me, all I see is movie for now because... Majeke is forcing this girl to say stuff in English. It's a turn off to me. Allow her to learn. Allow her to practice. Allow her to express herself in her language. Translate for us. Okay? If you can do this, in fact, it's more work on you. Whatever she says until she gets comfortable to start speaking English. After practicing, you know? Portuguese people, French people, People, Arabic, they speak English. So it's not even a big thing. She's going to learn. Plus, you guys are already like, she's in an environment where almost everybody and everybody speaks English, even in your home. So why forcing her? Oh, you guys, I'm going to let you watch so that I don't sound like I'm hating on them or what. So guys, Dorina wasn't feeling well, but right now she's saying she's doing well. So I want to take her to a treat, a special treat, and it's it, it's going to be very special, very special for her especially. And uh, this is Dorina Salimi. Hi guys, I'm happy today. So Maja is uh, is uh, um talking to lunch. Yeah, yeah. taking so, you um, to lunch. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. So, guys, uh, we are going to lunch. I'm taking Dorina for lunch. This is the first uh, time I'm taking her to lunch. I can say it's the first date here. So, 
Guys, Dorina didn't know today I came with this machine here. That's why I told you it's very special. This lunch is very special. Yeah, I'm feeling happy. You're feeling happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so guys, this is the first time I'm taking Dorina for lunch inside this beautiful car. So I'm really happy that. Are you enjoying? Yeah. How do you feel the car? I feel good the car. Mm. Oh. At home. So that you talk, it's a little end of a mango. Yeah, I'm not going to tie a lot of up. I view you and the Baba Jofa restaurant in Mabera. Uh, Dorino, shall I think I'm your restaurant? Mabera. So, guys, I'm taking Dorina to lunch. By the way, Dorina Unajiski, yeah, we will be there and uh, we will get to know if uh, Dorina. She's ready so that you can get married. Unataka tunda kwa wazazi wako kwanza? Kwa wazazi wako, wewe. Oh, wangu kwanza. Mm -hmm. So we should go to our parents first and then we should uh, know if we will be... Okay, we will be getting maybe married. Yeah, yeah I don't know. So during... It's Maja Kiki. Yes, welcome to it. It's for Maja. Yeah. So today, I am going to lunch with dog. I am going to lunch with dog. So, guys, I am trying to tell her that uh, today I brought her to lunch. She, she was sick, by the way, but now she's okay. Uh, she's doing fine. So, we are taking lunch at a place um, nearby our village called uh, Jog. Hey, good job. I'm So I was trying to tell the waiter that we will put after we finish up with eating. So there's Monte Mango. Napenda mango wa mapasha. Mkubali. Try in fish. Eni, nikupa majibu saa kesi ya. Guys. So, so guys, please wait for finish it, mm. and then for I'm I'm telling Madja for Madja um, boy answer. Yeah, I'm telling Madja for answer. Mm. I've not seen any seriousness in them. I still feel like um, it's all for content. It's all for view, view, view. Viewership. Yes, that's what I'm seeing. Dorina, yes, agreed that Majike should come over and see her parents. Of course, that's our tradition. You can't just be telling a woman, I want to marry you. Of course, most men, they use that to get in between the woman's legs. Oh, I want to marry you. Oh, I want to have uh, five children with you. I want to have ten children with you. I want to take you to Bahamas. Hey, I want to spoil you. I'm going to buy a nice car for you. I'm going to rent a nice apartment for you. Oh, I'm going to change your wardrobe. Hey, this is what we call in Nigeria, audio doings. Until it happens. <laughs> Rather than just saying it. Action is what matters most. Not by saying and all this. And once the guy gets what he wants, after he finishes enjoying, he will keep telling you, promising you the same thing over and over. Before you know it, he will be showing less interest. Before you know it, you call and call, he will not take your call. Before you know it, you tell him you are coming over. Come and see excuses. Hey! Excuses here and there. Baby! <laughs> Man up! You guys should open your eyes. Because this is real. It's, it has happened to a lot of women. Repeatedly. <laughs> Especially these passport, low-key passport brothers. Now they see that this is the attention that their audience actually wants. This is what their audience 
actually want to watch so they will keep doing it over and over before you know it <laughs> you will be crying in one corner because of course they will not bring this other part where they are knocking you up and down they will not bring it to camera they will only bring the part that will make them look good where you are crying where you are complaining that he's not taking your call the energy that you are putting in you are not getting it back you guys remember the rules it's very very clear mm -hmm. if you are not getting the same energy <laughs> that you are dishing out run for your life sister run for your life brother it's as simple as a b c d there's no other arithmetics there hey <laughs> you carry meat and join it to the bone because you can't eat bone alone mm -hmm. i said coco mama you guys should leave me alone mm -hmm. leave me with my fish head <laughs> hey you lazy members will not kill me coco mama what kind of fish is this that you are even eating the bones like this you guys should leave me alone in my small corner mm -hmm. Shabi, you said that i should do my own content go create your content don't create your now that i've created my content you guys will be clicking it if it's a croco Come and see average view duration. You will listen and listen and listen and get all the information that you want and conclude and decide whether you agree with Coco Mama or not. But when I drop my vlog, you will click in and out. What is she doing? What is that thing that she's cooking? It's called Nigerian delicacy. Mm. If you are not from Niger, you will not understand it. Someone yesterday, you guys remember yesterday, I was complaining about the comment that Mrs. Maya made about America being a dangerous place. And some of you guys were like, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe. Please don't. It's a reaction. We are not here to come and bring problems to another channel. Even though that we are getting the same heat. When we do this kind of stuff, people don't even announce. They, you will just see that we are losing subscribers. Reaction! Is the worst thing you can do to grow your channel because one you say stuff that will make someone to subscribe to your channel the person will subscribe tomorrow you will say another thing the person will be gone you see is the more I think that's why I'm actually bringing my lifestyle modesta lifestyle not modesta family lifestyle so that is that's why I'm actually now trying to see if I can at least once in a week do my thing with you guys basically manage me the way i am this is coco mama for you i can only offer what i have i cannot come and be claiming or every time i must go somewhere to film for you guys to look for you know a rich environment you know to go and act like this is where coco mama stays or I'll show you stuff i will never do that one because you know what hey it will open my nash like this, boy. Truth. It doesn't take time. That's why, instead of you to come and lie to your audience, you'd rather not share that thing. Nobody will come and put knife on your neck. Instead of me to come and claim what I am not to you guys, I'd rather not say anything. You will not beat me. Because you are supporting me, you are showing me love, we are relating from far. We are not even close to each other. So there's no way you will come and, you know, come to my house and be like, I'm going to beat you. Why didn't you share this? Oh, why didn't you do like, no. So the choice lies in us content creators. Why must we come here and be making our audience feel sorry for us? Or living a kind of life that is not really. I'm not saying that we must share everything. Me, I'm not ready to share every part of me with you guys but i will try whatever i bring out it must be something that at least i know that is truthful it's real like 100 percent if i decide not to talk about it then it's a different ball game but if i have decided to share it it must be truth it must be facts it must be facts and figures or i rather keep it until I'm ready. Is it not making sense like that? Nobody is hating on these people that feel that we hate them. Oh, my ego needs to feed his children. Oh, don't forget, you cannot destroy a fellow brother. What do you expect? My ego needs to feed his children. My ego, as we are talking, 
if you go to his channel he's acting like nothing happened and then max one is the one facing the heat now max one and nasto of course nasto is doing it because he pretends a lot this is his weapon pretending to his audience pity party oh your audience must feel something well for you or oh, your audience must feel sorry oh these people got paid who paid who here eh am caro paid who or oh, modesta lifestyle me that is looking for who to pay me <laughs> me also i need somebody that will come and pay me so let's round it off with baba marwa baba marwa went private on ig did one go did the same thing actually there's a rumor that Jamto, Jamto is the guy that did Airbnb business with Dim Wango and Dim Wango confiscated everything. So there's a rumor that these guys ignored court order. They did not show up in court when they're supposed to. That now Jamto is waiting for court order so that he can approach YouTube and let Dim Wango pay him his money. Could that be the reason why they put their IG on private or I don't understand if it's possible like what CEO said let them put their YouTube on private as well since they want the privacy I don't understand what is going on pay this guy his money it's as simple as ABCD case closed you don't even need to be dragging these things to court and getting YouTube involved it is what it is all right guys if you watch till this moment you know who you are you are the best you are the best without you guys how impossicant is it gonna be possible it's not gonna be possible though. hey but because of you guys we are coming we are going as we are coming we are moving thank you so much for all you do for coco mama thank you for your likes for your comments for your shares for your encouragement for your love hey you guys are drowning me with love and i love you guys back i love you guys don't forget to give this video thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't bring someone to bring another one to bring your neighbor your auntie your uncle your nephew your nieces your your lovers your wife your husband bring someone to the table let's get this ministry rolling i'll see you in my another with the with the pizza 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 Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>